Okay, so here's just a little sort of like almost like a paradox or just a little conundrum that doesn't really make sense um, without proper full understanding of the subject. This um, would eat like just doesn't make sense. This is something about physics and uh, astronomy and science. And it's um, so if the universe is approximately 14 billion years old, right? That's what scientists say. And light travels exactly one light year in a year. And yet we can we are observing objects that are far more than 14 billion light years like there's you know twice or four times that distance um almost or three times like about like four uh, 46.6 billion light years that's how far we can see stuff so if our observable universe is 46.6 billion light years radius that but there's only been 13 billion years then light could not have traveled 46.6 billion years at the speed of light it could not have traveled that far so that's the basically the problem and basically what that means is the universe has to have either either the universe has been accelerating faster than light or the universe is older than scientists and, and astronomers think because um, in Hinduism one of their beliefs uh, one um, belief system is that uh, the universe lasts a hundred billion years and currently it's about halfway through so it's like 50 billion years of the universe have passed and that's an ancient Hindu belief and that's actually very close to that number we got earlier which was the 46.6 billion light years so 46.6 that's very close to 50 so that shows you know maybe the universe actually is older than we think than scientists think but um scientists basically like i said they just explain this not this little conundrum basically just because oh the universe is accelerating and whatnot but didn't they just try to tell us that nothing can go faster than the speed of light so clearly either the universe is accelerating faster than the speed of light um including us right now just in this solar system or the universe is older than 14 billion years old so movement and motion are definitely relative for example um the earth is actually spinning at a thousand miles per hour right now and yet to anyone on the earth it feels completely still um, the galaxy might be spinning at over over a million miles per hour so like scientists say it, it takes up approximately 1.3 million miles per hour it's incredibly fast and yet people in the galaxy don't feel like we're going a million miles per hour necessarily so obviously motion is relative but not only that but if we were to compare two different galaxies that are moving away from each other then they're going even faster two galaxies moving apart from each other would would measure the speed of the, each other as going incredibly fast so, two places 
on the furthest points of the universe because the universe is expanding. The two sides of the universe are moving away from each other at incredible speeds. So motion is all completely relative. Some scientists even believe that the universe may be expanding faster than the speed of light. The expansion of the universe. Which therefore means we're actually traveling faster than the speed of light. Right now. Take a look at this. This is curiousastro.cornell.edu. Question. Is the universe expanding faster than the speed of light? And they say... I'll read it. I'll, I'll just read it out, out loud. They say... For the simplest interpretation of your question, the answer is that the universe does expand faster than the speed of light. And perhaps more surprisingly, some of the galaxies we can see right now are currently moving away from us faster than the speed of light. 